love our pets, but you can't be there all the time for them. Next, some tech-savvy ways to keep an eye on them. Stay with us. And next, we answer the question, how do you do that? Look at the puppies. We'll have some advice on keeping your pets safe and finding your furry friend if they bolt. Stay with us. All right, you love your pets, right? This year alone, American pet owners are estimated to spend more than $55 billion on their dogs and their cats and their guppies. So how can we make sure our pets are well taken care of when we're left alone? Here with some cool new gadgets is Bob Baltier, the president of the American Pet Product Association. Bob, I hope I pronounced your name correctly. Thank you for coming on the show. We really appreciate it. This is an, an astonishing amount of money. I, it's really surprising. Uh, we found out that two-thirds of Americans share their home with an animal. We're spending a lot of money on it. Are we spending it wisely? Well, we are because the pets have become so important in so many people's lives now, you know, with the, the economy being in the tank, everything else being a problem. The one thing you can count on is a wagging tail or, or a, a lick in the face or, or somebody who doesn't I, have more problems than you do. I love positive reinforcement. I love that. Okay. Well, let's talk, you know, the cool thing is that the, there's all this high tech gear now for pets, which is so awesome. And we're going right. to walk through some of these gadgets, some of which I have to say are a little silly. But we have the Wonder Bowl Selective Feeder by Our Pet. This thing costs you almost 90 bucks. Tell us about that. But it's, it's a way to make sure that your pet is only eating their food during the course of the day, especially if you have multiple pets. You know, there's a way to coat it so that your dog's not eating your cat's food and your cat's not dumping all over the dog's food and so on through. So, I mean, it does make a lot of sense in a multiple pet household. I had it wrong. That's not a 90 uh, dollar bowl, that's a, an 11 buck bowl. We also have the Kurgo camera mount harness. Tell me about that. Well, that's a way to find out exactly what your dog's been doing all day. It just mounts the camera right on his collar and takes pictures and basically records his day. And then when you come home, you'll know just basically what he was in and why certain things aren't where they used to be. That's like what they used to do with George Bush's dogs. Remember when he was in the White House <laughs> right. and they would have cameras right. on the dogs and you would see like their view of walking around the White House. That was really cute. Pet safe bark right. and activity counter. What is that? That's something that, that will uh, tell you what kind of a day your dog has had. You know, some dogs will, will suffer from separation anxiety and when, when they're all by themselves. And you wouldn't necessarily know that, but this counter would show you that there was a, a great deal of, of angst on the dog's part while you were gone or just show that the dog was comfortable and relaxed while you were gone. So it just gives so it just you some tips. just counts the barks that, as a measure of, of how relaxed the dog is? The barks, the, the breathing pattern, uh, you know, the other tips that would tell you that there's stress or no stress. Are these things safe for these animals? Yeah, I mean, they're all tested. I mean, obviously, for any product you're going to go out and buy for yourself or for your animal, you're going to want to check and make sure that everything's been taken care of. But, you know, virtually all of these products are tested safe and, and, uh, huh. and, and, are, and are very good to use. There's a hyper pet doggy bag. What is that? That's one that will be active when your dog is active and will be calm when your dog is calm so that it's not constantly moving around the floor and causing your dog to, to keep getting up and being hyper when he wants to take a nap. But when he is up and he's looking for something to do and you're not there, uh, this thing will react to his uh, movement and activity and will keep him excuse me, occupied as long as he wants to be occupied. I guess the other option is you just take your pet on vacation with you, which a lot of people do too. <laughs> more and more because there's so many pet friendly destinations now there's restraint systems for the car and Fido's just loving being in the back seat with you Bob thanks for coming on the show tonight great to see you great ideas I'm sure people out there they love their animals they love that stuff absolutely they absolutely <laughs> do thanks for having me I appreciate it you're welcome <laughs>